Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a portfolio stop loss in the Shrimpy application. To get started, let's head over to the Automation tab where we can configure our portfolio stop loss. As you can see, I currently have an automation that has been set up. You can see all of the different assets I've selected. You can see my rebalance strategy. So let's go ahead and add a portfolio stop loss. This can be done by selecting Show More Settings. And under the Stop Loss section, you can see that the Time Period option is right here. So let's go ahead and select a Time Period. By default, it's set to Never. So let's go ahead and select One Day. And as you can see, as soon as we select uh, the Day Period, other options come up as well. So we could pick anything from One Day to 30 Days. A one day stop loss would essentially mean that as the value changes over the period of one day, Shrimpy will continue to monitor the performance and if it reaches the threshold, it will trigger the stop loss. One thing you should be aware of is the threshold can either be positive or negative. Both of these are different, so you should use the one that's appropriate for your strategy. For example, if we set a negative 5% threshold, what this means is when the one day performance reaches negative 5%, we will trigger the stop loss. On the other hand, if we set a positive 5% threshold, that means the performance needs to increase to above 5% over the course of one day. And then when it starts to fall, it will trigger when it reaches positive 5% performance in one day. So let's go ahead and select negative 5% for our strategy because we want to essentially catch any flash crashes or any sort of rapidly decreasing value of our portfolio. The final thing we want to select is the currency. The currency determines which asset Shrimpy will buy when your entire portfolio executes the stop loss. So you can see all of the different assets here. When a stop loss is triggered, what Shrimpy is going to do is it's going to sell every single one of these assets and it's going to buy the currency that's selected right here. By default, it selects the uh, either USD or USDT, uh, which are the recommended assets. And the reason these are recommended is because these generally have very high liquidity. Some of the other assets, like DAI, might have a little less liquidity. So if you're a user with a large portfolio, we recommend sticking with these high liquidity currencies for your stop loss. All right, so I've set up my stop loss. Let's go ahead and save that here. And it's going to ask me if I want to rebalance. For this example, let's go ahead and select no. And there you have it. You have your one day minus 5% threshold stop loss set up for your portfolio. Now there's two different ways that this stop loss can trigger. Either you can use the actions button and trigger the stop loss manually. This will instantly take all of the assets that you have in your portfolio and it will sell them for USD or the currency that you've selected. The other option is when your portfolio performance drops to that negative 5% value. As you can see, my 24-hour performance right now is 2.42%. That means I've gained 2.42% in value across my portfolio. So in order for us to get to the minus 5% threshold, we would have to drop by 7.42%. And of course, if you select a different stop loss period, that would change the period over which Shrimpy evaluates to determine the performance. For example, if you select a seven day time period, you would have to look at the week graph. So if we set up a negative 5% threshold for a seven day time period, what we would see is this value, once this value gets to negative 5%, it would trigger the stop loss and then it would sell everything to USD. And of course, you don't have to select a period of one day or seven days, you know, these even uh, time periods. 
you can select time periods such as two hours, six hours, eight hours, but you should be aware that that means that your portfolio has to change pretty dramatically over those short time periods. If you have a one hour time period and a minus 10% threshold, for example, your portfolio performance would have to drop by 10% in less than one hour. That would be a pr pretty significant amount of value over such a short amount of time. And that would also mean if your portfolio drops by, say, 5% every hour for 10 hours, although that would be more than minus 10% over 10 hours, that wouldn't be more than minus 10% in a single hour. All right, so now that we have an understanding of how portfolio stop losses work in the Shrimpy application, let's go ahead and execute or trigger our stop loss. Once you click trigger stop loss, you can see the assets that are going to be bought and sold. You can see Shrimpy will buy our US dollars and it will sell the rest of the assets in our portfolio. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Okay, great, so our stop loss has been queued. As you can see here, it's rebalancing. So it's selling all of those assets in my portfolio, it's buying the US dollars, and it's doing this as quickly as possible. So during a stop loss, Shrimpy does not execute maker orders. Even if you have fee optimization with maker trades enabled, we will only use taker trades during a stop loss. And the reason we do that is because a stop loss needs to trigger as quickly as possible. Great, so our portfolio stop loss has completed. So as you can see in the drop down, it says stop loss triggered. What this means is all of the trading on this portfolio is frozen. I have 100% US dollars and my portfolio will not trade again until I manually clear the stop loss. So even if you go to automation, select a different portfolio, and start the automation here, Shrimpy will still not rebalance. It will not trade until you go to dashboard, you select the actions, and you select to clear stop loss. Say I wanna clear my stop loss right now, what I would do is I would select clear stop loss. It would prompt me to make sure I'm confident that I wanna clear my stop loss right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and select yes. And as you can see, now my stop loss has been cleared. So if you go to the trading dropdown, you could see that my next scheduled rebalance is 24 hours from now. Shrimpy will not automatically trade after you clear your stop loss. It will either wait until your next scheduled rebalance or you can select rebalance now. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna confirm right here. And then Shrimpy will rebuy all of our assets. So it will move our portfolio back into the market. We will have all of our cryptocurrencies that we have allocated in our automation. And then we will be able to continue rebalancing as usual. All right, so there you have it. Now we're back in the market. So we've sold our stop loss currency, which was US dollars. And now we've bought back into our portfolio. So we are completely allocated the same way that we were before the stop loss. And you can repeat this over and over again. So you can go back to actions, you can select to trigger another stop loss, and then you can get out of the market as quickly as possible. And then when you're ready, you could come back into the market. And this is all possible through this simple action. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always happy to help. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.